good morning. It is day two here in Copenhagen. Um, we've woken up to literal blue sky. Uh, we're back in the same park as we were walking through yesterday, but it's even nicer today because the, uh, the sun's out. It's a lovely morning. From here, it's about 10, 12 minute walk to the uh, food market. And we saw these like acai bottles or mango smoothie bottles. Um, and they've like croissants and like bakeries and stuff. So we'll definitely be getting there. Life doesn't get any better than this. So we are back at the market we were yesterday, um, getting some breakfast. Um, we couldn't help ourselves. There's so much more to explore, and so much more food in there to try. Like we decided to come back, give it a second go. We get one acai and one mango. Yeah. The first purchase that we got, what well, I got, was a chocolate croissant from a little bakery. Ah, right, this looks so nice. Like a really cool vintage store. We just managed to find this like little hidden gem. The stuff they have here is so nice as well. So yeah, have a look in here and see what, see what we can find. Oh, this is the first one. Oh, this is the second one. Looks like your granddad's knitted it in his back room. These new jeans, dark colour. That was a successful thrift store. Came away with a pair of jeans and this sweater vest. <laughs> right, we're currently in a place called the King Square. Look how lovely this is. You got all these buildings around, you got all black like, Rolex, uh, hotels. We're literally now having the harvest just there. There's colourful buildings on my back, the blue and the yellow ones are just there. We have made it to Nyhaven. Such such a cool place. All colourful buildings, like loads of places for lunch. Really, what a beautiful place. Copenhagen is definitely got to be like top three cities I reckon I've been to. I right, decided to come to Nyhaven Daddy 37. Um, they've got these like little more smallest board. You get three of them for 160 krona, which is like 12 quid. But look at this. I love it. I feel like I'm in Paris right now, to be honest. And you, you're having some local Danish food, some smallest board in the middle of Copenhagen by the harbour. Um, with that live music in the background like a fire behind us. If you can, come to Copenhagen, it is incredible. It's basically, it's a better version of Paris, I'm not gonna lie. There's just a guy just playing the most beautiful urban music right, right there. It's incredible, he's playing like, oh, it's just beautiful, I'm on a harbor. The guy playing the oboe, there's people everywhere in the new city. I mean, this is what I love traveling for. Right, we've got here a, an IPA, Yakim IPA. All right, lunch has arrived. We've got some sm more smorgasbord, whatever you say. We've got one fish, one shrimp and egg, and one steak one, right? roasted beef. Yeah, they I, look incredible. Get some lemon on these, lovely. Yeah, these look incredible. I've got Danish beer as well. All right, we just had lunch. Lovely Did food again. So good. Honestly, the food has been incredible. Everything we've had here has been so tasty. And we're now going on a canal tour. All right, we're now on the, on the uh, canal tour. The price for this um, canal tour was just like just over a pound, whereas the one in Bruges was like twelve pounds, and it was like only half an hour, and so much more boring. Pretty decent. Right, the tour guide just said that the roof there, twenty-seven meters in the air, people die from the top of there into the water. I mean, if you look how high that is. So far, so good. What I'm finding is the architecture in Copenhagen is like incredible because it's got like a mix of really old architecture from like 15 1600s and then like new stuff in the 2000s. It's all modern. Oh, we've just gone on the very last bridge. So, uh, 14 bridges we just went under. It's now 3.30 and it started at 2.30 so we've been going for an hour. It's about to come to an end. Definitely recommend it. It was really nice. We're back in Nyhaven, the kind of buildings. What a good way to see Copenhagen. We saw a lot of the sites, saw the Little Mermaid, the National Museum, the theatre. Um, without actually having to walk around. Um, to it, which is nice. Thank you. 
All around Copenhagen, there's literally, there must be like the current elections going on because we've seen literally like thousands of these political campaign posters, but literally everywhere in Copenhagen is covered in them. Every tree has them, every pole has them. It's certainly like a one way of trying to get votes, but I don't know. Alright, so we had to get the uh, typical postcard and a little keychain as well. We are back from the day out in Copenhagen, from the harbour and from the canal tour, back in the hotel. So I managed to find this white and black fleece. I've been looking for one for a while, but I finally found one that... Uh, and it was on 50% sale. And the second thing we bought was this sweater fleece. It's like a grandpa. It looks like some grandpa's done it. Alright, we're ready. This is the outfit for dinner. We've got the ducks on. We've got the new dark jeans. And then we've got the white fleece. We've got the... Uh, Candy goose beanie. That is the, uh, it's the dinner fit. Right, it's our second night in Copenhagen. We were originally going to go to Tivoli Gardens, like the theme park, the second oldest theme park in the world, but we decided not to, just because we're going to save that for tomorrow, because today we, it was quite action packed, um, and tomorrow we haven't got as, much, as many things planned. So, but we are going to somewhere for dinner. We asked the hotel for any recommendations, and they recommended us this place that has like new Nordic cuisine, like a three minute walk. Apparently, it's quite chill and casual. Honestly, I'm loving Copenhagen still. Um, we're just walking around, it's such a nice city. Even at night, all, the, all lit up. Um, the people here are so friendly. Just compared to Belgium, which was just a bit stinky. I mean, buses was good, but it was, it was very generic and boring. Didn't really have much culture. And then Mons was equally as boring. But Copenhagen, even today, like we've only been here like a day and a half. I just cannot get enough. Like I definitely will be returning. Maybe seeing other parts of Denmark. The whole city just has a very cool feel to it. Like everywhere you are, Here's, this is the restaurant we're going to here, called Kofiko. We managed to get a booking, but yeah, it looks lovely. Hi. Huh? So I need to get them because... The menu looks lovely. I'm going to go for the full course. Trout, scallops, oh, yeah, the, uh... ribeye, and elderflower, you guys. To start with... All right, now we've got the uh, last dishes. Guess how much you got it for. All right, dinner done. That was incredible. All four courses were so tasty. Food was so tasty. Really liking Nordic cuisine, really enjoying it. Too much before this, I never really heard of Nordic cuisine or didn't even know what it was or what to expect, but everything we've had so far in Copenhagen has been absolutely incredible. The food's so fresh, so healthy, so tasty. I mean, a lot of English food, because I live in London, a lot of the food we have there is like all fried or very unhealthy or all, all processed. But the food here is all straight from the ocean. You can taste the sea and all the, but honestly, like just a hidden gem in the basement of a little, un, like a residential street and this restaurant like that. Now going back to the hotel. We got some dime bars from 7-Eleven last night. Tuck into those. And it's probably going to be like a bake-off night um, in bed. And then tomorrow we're going to the Hippie Commune, Free Tank Cristiano, which should be a quite cool video. Very excited to film that video. Something very different. Yeah, su such a nice day today. Really, really loved it. Really adventure packed. We went all around, saw the harbour, had di had lunch by the harbour, did a canal tour. We got went thrifting. Just honestly, such such a good day. So much to look back on. Take the photos of the harbour again. If you're not following already, follow my Instagram at Harry Nelson Travel. I'm loving Denmark, uh, and there's so much more to look forward to on this um, Scandinavian adventure. We've got Norway to look forward to. Two cities there: Oslo and Tromsø. Hopefully, see the Northern Lights. We should be. If we do see the Northern Lights, that should be one of the best videos ever. But I'll start waffling. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with your friends or whatever. Um, because any support would be appreciated. We're now back at the hotel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.